Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and it's finally time for our top 10 of 2020. It is! If you have not seen the top 20 to 11 go back and see that first because or else you'll be like where is this game? Where is that yeah, game? Yeah you're missing it might all, be there. all these awesome games. Or it might not be there. Also in the yeah. beginning of that we talked a bit about the year and we also talked about a couple of games we haven't played and a couple of or one honorable mention. So go and see that at least at the beginning there and just go through that video as well because yeah. there's some good games there. So yes. the top 10. It's always hard to make these mm. and before we begin like it's important to say this is just a snapshot of right now. Yeah. This might change in a week. This might change like if we play these games again it might change everything up. Yeah. Uh, if we never play them again it might drop like it's mm. all of that will happen. So I feel like it's obvious but every time we do a top 10 list it is a snapshot of how I feel right now. Yes. Like when I made the list like actually I made like a, a change to the top 20 from the day we made it until we filmed it so mm. something will happen along the way and you're like oh do we like that and change it up a bit so it's it's hard to make these lists yeah especially when people tell you wrong when you're not p placing a game as high as other people would want it and to when be people you mean me yeah i mean yes. you <laughs> but uh but yeah do you feel like it's harder to make like you you always think it's hard to make top 10 lists right oh uh, yeah but do you feel like it's harder to make like the top 10 of the year do you feel like that's a more important list than lists? Hmm, I don't know but I really feel that it helps that I can make it a top 20 because yes. in a top 10 there's so many games that I have to just oh but it's it's not here yeah. and people will miss it and I miss it mm -hmm. so when we make a top 20 I've already now mentioned a ton of great games or that 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 10 game, great games. <laughs> a ton of games, like 25, 30 that games. That deserve to be mentioned this mm -hmm. year. So I yeah. think that that process that I don't have to eliminate mm -hmm. all of the games completely from oh, yeah. like... It makes the, it yeah. easier, yeah, yes. absolutely. I feel like this is one of the most fun game lists to make of the year. I, we always run like the last three, four weeks. We have tried to play as many new oh, games yeah. as possible. We have ordered a second copy of a game because the one we ordered was very delayed. So we're like, okay, but this store has it now, so we're gonna order it now. And we got people. to sell the other one so that yeah. we didn't have two copies. But I think it's important like to try to play because because we like it's of course just an excuse. We are a small YouTube channel and most people don't care what we think. But it's still I think it's fun like when we when we're supposed to do this top ten, if there are four games that I four games. When if there are four games that I think these are a perfect fit for me or I think I will like mm. them, I, I want to play them before. Yes. We haven't played everything, of course, but that's just how it is. So let's jump into the yeah. top ten games of 2020. I'm excited. Uh, I guess at the beginning of the last one that we're gonna have 17 crossovers. I guess uh, 15. I think the 17 is already lost, but uh, we will see if you can win with your 15. Ah, I'm so, unsure. Uh, let's, okay. Let's start the uh, top 10. Let's go! Yeah, so my number 10 mm -hmm. is The Search for Planet X. Wow! Yeah, I really like this game. This is a deduction. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the wrong list of... <laughs> <laughs> I like this game more oh, wow. than you, but I really like these adduction games and I'm really good at it, so that that jumps the game up a few spaces for <laughs> it me. It was my number 40, but I'm super good, so now number 10. Yeah. No, I really like it. it yeah. It's uh, it's a quite simple game in like components-wise, it's just mm -hmm. like a paper. It's an app. Yeah, and, and an app, um, but you have to like play it correctly or else you will uh, mess up all the rules according to you mean what like uh, like different from all the other games no but most games are going to do stuff i i can't double check your mistakes no in no this no game. yeah yeah but so i can't help you if you're having a little trouble mm -hmm. mixing up but you're you're placing um you're searching through space trying to figure out where planet x is and you're mm -hmm. asking are there how many meters is it from sector one to three for example and it says a number and maybe it's zero and it didn't help you that much but you're trying to then narrow it down with these rules to where planet x can be so yes I and now we know how to play the game yeah you can also check out our review for yeah. the game to know more <laughs> about it so if you, you want to see like the details uh, yes so you like the game i like the game as well but not nearly enough to be this high yeah uh, but yeah I, I think it's fine i just like the deduction games better and this wasn't like a high note for me of the mm, year. Yes. So that's your number 10. I think I remember my number 10 but I didn't need to check now. My, my number 10 is Alma Mater. It yeah. is a, a great a Euro game. I 
I enjoy the core concepts enough, like the, it's pretty straightforward getting the students, getting the, the teachers, and, and getting that in the, in the best possible combinations. I, I enjoy that core concept. But what elevates it is that book mechanism, like the economic of the books, making that uh, different, trying to climb on the science track, or don't do it like I usually do. Um, there's just, there, there isn't that many strategies, that many ways to roam in this game. But the times I have played it, it's, just, it's a crunchy, mm. neat euro. Neat, there it is again, go check the other video. I don't know why I started saying that word. I don't really like the word. Uh, it's you know, a night mechanism. It's a night mechanism, again, a reference from the old video. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it, it's fun if you watch the other video, or at least it's something if you watch the other video. Not Maybe not fun, but it's, it's something. But, but no, it's not something. Okay, uh, but it's a very, it's a very, very good game. I enjoyed it. It was your number something. Oh, my number something. My it number. It was in your number twenty. So it, it was uh, yeah, in I your list. No, yeah. it was somewhere there. I'm you switched can go and lists, check, check the so other. Go and I check can't the other check one. it anymore. But that was my number ten. Uh, Alma mother. Yeah, my number nine is number. No, uh, it's not from this year. <laughs> it can um, be number nine. It's a Sorcerer City. This oh, yeah. was your number eleven or something. Yeah, wasn't something it? like uh, that. Just no. below the number ten. Um, I really like Sorcerer City. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a real-time city-building tile lane game yeah. where you're just oh yeah, it's so stressful mm -hmm. and at different levels. So you can have mild stress, very much stressful, or like just like heart attack. Uh, yeah, can't think at all. It's Tetris level uh, something. Yes. Um, and I really like the concept of building tiles in real time and mm -hmm. also these combos by putting the right pieces together and also the monsters. I, I really had fun playing this game yes. in early 2020. It was before the summer. It feels like five years ago. Yes. Because this is a long year. Yeah. The longest year. Yes. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, Sorcerer City. Yes, I enjoyed it as well. Obviously, it was on my list earlier. And even like it's 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 a game when I when I saw it on Kickstarter, I was like, oh, it looks amazing. And then oh, it's a real time game. Can't play it. Watch Rado. Looked amazing. I wanted to get it, and we really like it. Yeah. So that is your number. 10. Nine. No nine. Yeah, what was number ten? Your number ten was something else. Uh, Planet X. Yes, that's true. My number nine then is Lost Ruins of Arnak. You already had this on your list. Yes. It's a great combination of worker placement, of um, <laughs> deck building, even though it's like a very time deck building element. Mm. But it's a fun game. It's one of those games that even though it's not a uh, super dry Euro game with only no luck and only the strategy and you will crush your opponents, it's it has some luck here and there, but it's just it's just plain fun. Yeah, I, agree. I just love the feeling when I play it, even though sometimes I can get that like frustration of the luck is happening here as mm -hmm. well. But there's a way to mitigate it most of the time. Sometimes it's like, oh, I was unlucky drawing that card instead of the mm -hmm. other one that's in my deck. It was a 50 50, and now I lose 15 points. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of boring, but the game itself is very good, and I have enjoyed my play of it. And it's one, even though we just have a pre production copy, it's one we want to keep and play more. Yes, it was in my top 20, so mm -hmm. I obviously also like that game a lot. I have Merv as my number eight. Mm -hmm. So you switch around and say like, number yes. eight is Merv. I have a game. Merv, I have, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to switch it up a little, make it a switch little interesting. Um, so we've just done a playthrough of Merv. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like Merv. Love it. I, I think it's I love it. beautiful on the table. I think the mechanism of interacting with the other players mm -hmm. and trying to place in the row that nets you the most resources, but also gives you the action that you want to do mm -hmm. is super interesting. Other than that, it's basically uh, spend resources to get something, um, yep. build a wall or get like different sets of stuff. But I think it's done in an interesting way and I really enjoyed Murv. Yeah, and if, if you like, if you dissolve most of the games we like, they are getting resources yeah. and yeah. changing them for yeah. other things or victory points. So that's that that's, can't really be a negative for any game. Oh, that is board games. I'm, I'm talking about board games. Euro games, games yeah. Ah, right. That yes. is true. <laughs> so that was more. My number eight, I mean, my city is number eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that took a while. <laughs> Just like city? What? My, what? <laughs> so my number eight is my city. My city is number eight. City cool. is a game which is called My. My City is a legacy, a tiling game from Rani Kanitsia. 
it will it just it took me by surprise like it, it took me out of nowhere which is a, a reference to an older video so if you like watching older videos that famous is something it, it's not famous no. you said it once and yeah. nobody noticed yeah, a couple of people noticed <laughs> we are rambling yeah if you if you know you know so uh my city is a very simple tiling game which is a legacy so we can't really talk about a lot of the specifics but it is very fun that's great evolving i love the fact that it doesn't try to have a story because that story would be very thin and very bad and not really fun i love it being like a very mechanical you know, legacy game i hope to see more of those mm. where you just play a campaign yes. of the game the game having a core mechanism and ever changing between beside that mm. very very neat i love it my city is number eight is my city yeah i love my city as well uh this is like an addictive game uh, we have still not played the last scenario no you know we did a review and then you know it's hard to get the game back to yes. the last review and also so. we've we've had some marathon gaming with the new games that we needed yes. to play before this top 10 that so and my number seven is forgotten waters uh, this is in your top 20 it was on number 15 i think yeah and this is a storytelling pirate uh Story storytelling co game? Cooperate game? Storytelling pirate storytelling game. <laughs> uh, where you cooperate to uh, achieve a goal. So it's kind of wacky. It's just like Very much uh, so. hearing a wacky pirate stories with these cool characters and so it, it's magic involved. So there's just a, a ton of crazy things happening mm -hmm. and it's so enjoyable. And also it's a little cool trying to uh, put it on the put your guy on the right action that you can fire a cannon and shoot the other ship. So I really like Forgotten Waters. It's way more of an experience than an actual oh, yeah, war game. Absolutely. But as an experience, I agree with you. Uh, you're not wrong on this one. Thank you. <laughs> your compliments. Wow. They are the best. My number seven is a game I'm pretty sure it's not going to be on the list. Oh, it's not going to be on the list because it hasn't been yet. It is Dwelling Soul and the Rain. Yeah, I can see that coming. Yeah, it's a, I, I, I just... Again, Luke Laurie has managed to make a worker placement game with many new fresh mechanisms. And there's actually this year has been a lot of games that manages to take like a core thing that we know mm. and just added something yeah. a little bit to it. Actually, when I think about it now, that has been like the the theme of the year. Like many times, like almost all of the games I really love are like, okay, this is very classic, but it's done this little thing. Yes. And that is something I've been enjoying this year. It hasn't been many games to just change up everything with like mm. doing this and changing it up which is amazing and that is what Dwellings of Elder World managed to do. It manages to be a worker placement game with dragons, wizards, monsters, fighting, building, engine building and a lot of fun things and this again is another one of those games which has more luck than I usually like but still I just have so much fun playing even though I lose and you don't have much playing, fun playing when you win, which is horrible. Whee! It's like playing an 18xx game. You are miserable for five hours and you win. <laughs> uh, but it's it's just it's just plain fun. I love it. If you want to see more of my thoughts uh, or certain of us wrong thoughts, you can go and... I, I'm just joking. You you can have your own thoughts, even though they're wrong. Uh, <laughs> and checking the dwellings of Elder Whale. Yeah, you. we ramble a lot and had a very um, yeah neat, neat uh, no. discussion in the uh, review that we yes. did. So I, I like dwellings of Elder Whale, but yeah, not enough. It's, it's not in my top 10. Nope. Or 20, because it 20, wasn't there. Yeah. And uh, my number six is Ether Fields. Mm -hmm. um, you've had this already? No. No. No, you haven't. Um, yeah, Ether Fields. Uh, we're going to do a review of this? Yes, we already filmed it. Then I deleted the audio. And I managed to delete the audio and save the project at the same time. So, so I couldn't go back and undelete yeah. it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, Ether Fields was such a hassle getting into with yes. the rules and just new concepts and all but now it's on our table upstairs and i just want to play it it's this addictive feeling that i want to explore more of this mm -hmm. dream world mm -hmm. it's a storytelling co-op game from uh, awakened realms mm -hmm. the ones who did uh, tainted rail yeah thank you they did, it's a <laughs> very very like the first game they made was called <laughs> it, wasn't it wasn't very hit. popular yeah, no. <laughs> So I, I, I'm just curious to play more and mm -hmm. I, I think it 
it's we haven't finished it, but I think it will hold its pace forward and I'm, in this direction that it's going now. I'm excited. And this is what I hope to finish. This is what I oh, actually yeah, really absolutely. want to finish. I agree with more. You're going to hear more of our thoughts, just both positive and negative, but I agree with that. So let's do a dance. Oh, it's a crossover? Let's do a crossover dance. My it's, number six is Ether Fields. It's a double dun, crossover. Dun, 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 dun. We've had a lot of double. We have not had a lot. We had one in the other one, one and then in the one, other one now. One now. Yeah. So that is my number six. So let's do the top five of top the year. Five. Let's go. You go. My number five is Bonfire by Stefan Felt. Mm -hmm. This is a good Stefan Felt game. It this is. is one of my favorites by him, and Stefan Felt is already one of my or our favorite designers. Yes. He's uh, really managed to do something that I, I am looking back on playing Bonfire now mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh, I want to try that and oh, I think I can mm -hmm. do this better and this better and I just, I'm a sucker for a dry heavy euro. Yeah, it's it doesn't feel like a point salad. It feels very uh, tight, this yes. game. Um, so it's not not a, lo a lot of wiggle room, mm -hmm. but as the end progresses, you feel like, oh, I've actually accomplished quite a lot more than I thought I would in the beginning. Yes, I, I like Bonfire, obviously. It's yeah. a great, great Stefan Feld game. So my number five then is a game you already had on your list, yeah. which is On Mars. Oh yeah. Yes, I really like this. It's one of the heaviest game of the year. It hasn't been many very heavy games this year, but this was one of the like, it's a Lacerda game, not a Lacerda game. That's, <laughs> that's the, a conspiracy for another time. We call Lacerda, the, the Lacerda Lizard. Maybe that would be, a, no, well, I don't know. That sounds like a I don't know where movie. I'm going. Uh, but this is a very neat, uh, it's a very good game. It has, a lot of moving mechanisms, a lot of moving parts. You have to manage that timing of when do I want to be on the planet, when do I want to be on the space station. I need to get the resources, but I don't want to travel back and forth all the time because yeah. that's not good. I want to stay here, build the buildings, trying to do that, trying to get it away. And it's just like so much stuff going on. We didn't do a review of it, but it did do a playthrough, didn't we? When we did the oh, yeah. uh, lockdown playthroughs, quarantine, uh, yeah, playthrough. quarantine playthroughs. Uh, we can go back and see that. That was not on this setup, so it was a, a way worse setup that we basically just need to have something to do when we were quarantined. Um, but yeah, I really, I really liked it, obviously, because it is my number five. Not my favorite last sort of game, but one of my favorite games from 2020. Yeah, it was in my 20, top 20, so that is quite good. Uh, I just looked at the list. And yeah, I but it's hard it to remember. Way. Yeah, my number four is Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Cool. Really it was like my number this. eleven. Yeah. So I, far, because we haven't finished it yet. Yeah, I yeah, this might drop and and uh, become higher. I have not played. I don't think it can drop and become higher. That's not possible. And or. So or. if you turn the side. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so. <laughs> I uh, I haven't played Pandemic Legacy Season 1. I've played a few scenarios because I didn't live here. No, none you of lived, us lived in here. Bergen. Yeah, I lived in Bergen at the time, so that is far away. So I didn't get to Ten play. 10 hours it. to drive. We played Season 2, uh, which was fine. We're good. So far, this for me is better. Way I'm better. not going to spoil anything, nope. but I really like the setting of this game, and they've done some really neat things that Neo. I haven't seen before that I really think adds to a, a new pandemic legacy experience because it can, yeah, it, you have to kind of come with something new if you not want a new season. <sighs> yeah, and it, I like, think it, they've done it. Yes, I agree. I feel like they managed to. Do a third one that felt different, yes. even though it feels familiar. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree. So it was my number 11, your number... Four. Four. My number four is a crossover. It is Bonfire. Yeah. I really like it. I think it does some very neat things. I love the action selection mechanism, which is kind of like, a, kind of like another way of making it using dice. Mm. If you know what I mean. Like, it's yeah. not dice. You don't roll them. roll them. You're basically making your own kind. Make your own kind of dice rolls. Yeah. Play your own kind of game. Yay. Play your own game of bonfire, even if you don't like Stefan Feld games. Yay! Yeah, oh, that was nice. It's, it's bonfire is very nice. That, that's my that's my line. That's your takeout from yes. that song. Bonfire, <laughs> bonfire is nice. It's great. It's neat. So we are at the top three games of 2020. Yes. And that is amazing. Yeah, it is. I I feel like. Um, 
I'm maybe like shooting overhead right now and people will be angry but my number three is Mysterium Park it's very high thank you so much for watching and this uh, has you know board gaming ramblings we like yeah, heavy you don't Euros. Agree with me. we that, like these heavy Euro games I'll, and and Mysterium Luke Park Hector number can, three Broken Maple can just come over and here know, and tell you how wrong you I are I don't know if you agree with, with Luke and Broken Maple you know you're wrong <laughs> that's like that's like the bottom line if you agree with anything he says you know it's wrong oh I really like Mysterium Park uh, you had it in your top 20 yes I did yeah I really love it I love Mysterium quite a lot more than you yeah for starters this is very high for a game that's basically another game yeah but i just appreciate it so much they could have said okay um mysterium is working fine because it is it's working fine and we're happy with this mm -hmm. but um, mysterium park was something that i didn't think that i need well, needed uh, yes i agree but now that it exists i don't know why I it didn't, didn't. Exasper, exist before because yes. it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's, it just hits all the things that I crave from a Mysterium ga game. Mysterium. And yeah, it's all the first games from uh, Awaken <laughs> Realms. <laughs> <laughs> we can sell Mysterium now because I I'm so happy about the uh, Mysterium Park. Yeah, yes. it's it's a good game. It was my number twenty, and of course you can have it in your number ten, the three. I I'm just joking with you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so my number three then is a game you already had on this list called Merv. Oh yeah, it's it was your number eight. Yeah, but it, it's just it has managed to be a classic Euro with some very nice twists. You can go mm. and check or, or play through of it. Mm. Uh, the, the 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 central central space, the central mechanism of of choosing that place you want to go. You want to get that specific action, but you also want to place a building so that you can get more resources. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to use the other players' buildings because then they will get resources. You also don't want them to be able to build long rows of buildings so they will get more resources to then get them. And if you go there, then we get the resources. And you also want to get that build that action so that you can do that thing. And you only have 12 of those actions, so mm -hmm. it's very hard to do it. So much to think about. In a game which is basically, again, as we had said, yeah. all your games are getting resources, changing them for things, or moving on tracks. And I, I feel like Fabio has done a very, very neat, sorry, I hate that word now, very great <laughs> job at, at making this different. Again, it's like the theme of the year, taking classical things that feel familiar mm. and then adding a twist on them. And I think Merv does that perfectly. It looks amazing. It plays mm. amazing. It's smooth. It has nice way of things you have to think about. You have so few actions. It's so tight. It's so good. It's Merv. It's Merv. It's also, we have to mention the very nice two-player... Um, Perfect dummy player. Dummy like player. Dummy I really player. like it. Endeavor might be the only one I like as oh, much yeah. as this one. It works very nice. My number two, two is my city. It's so good. I'm co in completely in love with this game. And so I'm you don't so... like heavy euros anymore, do you? I do. I do. I just... <laughs> They're all over my top 20, so... I but, still like you. Oh, that's good. Um, I really like my city. It's just so addictive to me. I, When we first started playing it, it was the only game that I would play. Mm -hmm. It's like Carcassonne over all over again. Um, you like that tile placement. I also love that like, Tetrimino placement. But this, um, making it legacy, mm -hmm. okay, it wouldn't be that interesting without it being a lazy... It, it would, would be, be very, very boring, yes. yes. But just seeing okay with this combination i can do this now yeah and i'm looking forward to see what the next rule adds to the game mm -hmm. and how far i can what i can accomplish with that rule and it just something sparks in my brain yeah. by trying to figure out these combos and oh we drew that we turned that card mm -hmm. over that piece I, I can't place that is it then worth to place it there and take that chance that yeah. that will be fine Ah, I really like it. It's just, it was a surprise. I I didn't know that I would like a Reiner Knizia legacy, legacy game. game that much, but he's, yeah, it's just perfect. I love this game. It's very fun because even though we have many of the same games this year, we actually don't agree on everything. And yeah. that hopefully makes this video fun. Um, because if we had crossover dances every time, it would just be a dance party. <laughs> Uh, welcome to board gaming dancing. Yeah. So my number two then is a Praga Caput Regni. Oh, that is high. Yeah, it is, but it's just You're wrong. No, it's sorry. just an amazing game. It's uh, very good. If you take away the the few component issues I had, 
the game is just so tight the thinking of if you want to do the action and I also want to get the bonus action, but I also want to be able to not give you those points mm. for doing that other yes. action. And do I really want to take that production? Because if I do that, and there's not many actions in the game, I think there's like 16 actions oh, yeah. each player. Oh yeah, too few. You feel like uh, hopeless I in the beginning. I don't know, it's not 16, yeah. but it's a few, very few very actions. Few. And it's just so much stuff you want to do and you can't do it all. I feel like it's a, again, it's a very classical Euro, but you have that round mechanism of that wheel spinning around, which is another twist. So that is really the way this year has been. Yeah. Taking classical things that you would feel normal, feel familiar, makes us feel at home, and then just adding something that makes us go like, ooh, that is cool. And I love this game, and I, I feel like if you like heavy or medium heavy euro games with tight crunchy decisions and you haven't got this game just go out and get it right mm -hmm. now yeah. it's not free like i used to say with subscribing subscribe it's free get a game it's not free but it's yeah. fun <laughs> and it's it's nice and we're at number one and i'm pretty sure yeah, we can uh... we can as we have done many other years we can say it in unison because even though we haven't agreed on many things on this list i think we will agree on this i think so that too. number one is Tekenu something of the obelisk oh yeah some of, of... obelisk of the sun yeah yes <laughs> the Kenu, obelisk of the sun is number one and why yes. is that um it's it's fun it's fun i really like how the because you have these dice with different colors around these the obelisk. dice you know these dice you have these dice they're very big yeah i i, I just imagine the 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 <laughs> circle that the dice are placed on <laughs> that doesn't make it's sense. a circle of dice yeah. and how they're available when like the sun is shining on them or something okay you no no go no explain it's perfect it. i'm just smiling because i'm happy <laughs> good <laughs> So, depending on how the obelisk stands, different dice are available for different actions. Mm -hmm. And also how did the actions, the different actions, like, influence each other. Yeah. So you want, like, statues in the stat stat temple statues, yeah, yeah. area. Yeah. And you want buildings there as well. And you also want some papyrus. <laughs> Always with the papyrus. Always with the papyrus. That's not like a main part called? of the game. It's like the, yeah. the, uh, the Cree cards. Yes. Is that? Yeah. yeah. You want the Cree cards. So then you want like a lot of population and happiness in mm -hmm, your city. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's a game that makes you want to do everything. Yes. Um, but it's definitely the best with three or more players. I like the best at four. And this yeah. is one that I think might drop. I'm going to say that oh, right yeah. now. Oh yeah, that because can happen. This is just the most fun I had. Like this is one of the, this mm. is one of the few games I just instantly fell in love with and loved every single time we played. And I know it's not completely balanced. I know it seems like you need to go for the decree card. I heard a couple of decree cards already have been banished from the game oh, it because it's too too good. Oh, cool. Which is fine. Which is fine with me because that if that makes the game more balanced, I'm all for that. Um, but but with those issues, which I think are actual issues in the game, I don't think you can win this game if you don't go for any decree card. I go for like we six decree cards. We have an ongoing discussion there. We yeah, need but to I play it more. But I, I feel like this might drop. But it's just like when I when I played, it's like okay, this is game of the year. And then every game I played after that, oh, it was amazing. It might have been very good. It might have been Merv mm. or Praga, all of this. But still. Takenu said that feeling in my brain mm. that this is game of the year. Yeah. It was just that much fun. Like everything in it just clicks in my brain. Oh, yeah. Just works very well. It's tied just 12 actions. So few things you can do. Just makes me happy playing it. Just like so many things that just works, that clicks. That is Nino. <laughs> uh, and that is why I feel it's number one. Yeah, I got the same feeling that I got after playing our number one from last year, Maracaibo. Yes. When we just sat down and just like, oh wow, this is just pure fun. True and I, Yeah, through the roof. Through the fun roof. Cannon. Fun cannon. Yes. Fun, fun, fun. And I got this feeling with this game as well. Uh, it's not a perfect game. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I agree that it might drop. But for the time being... Takenu Obelisk of the Sun, sun feels like fun. it really belongs up on the first play place of this year because I just had so much while playing it and I continue to have fun with every play and I'm still looking forward to trying out different strategies that I haven't tried yet. So I'm looking forward to play this game more and see how it stands like in the future. Yes, and I cannot wait for the expansion Obelisk of Fun, which is coming. <laughs> 
taking you seriously. 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 So, uh, so yeah, that is the top ten. Yeah. I don't think we. I don't think we have seventeen crossovers. Oh, I don't think we have fifteen. Okay. No, no, um, no. So, so let's let's one, see. Two, three, four, but that's the top five, ten. So if you want to stop six, now, this seven, is just for us. Eight, nine, you ten. So we have ten. Uh, Did you have all on your top twenty? Your, your, or your top ten? Yeah. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, we have uh, 17, don't we? 17. No, no, no. I didn't have Aqualine. We didn't have Dwellings. We didn't have... But you had Hallertau. Uh, I can... Uh, it's just one, two, three games... Four games. Three games that I Is haven't... It? Yeah, I think so. But Dwellings, you didn't have that? I did. Aqualine... Fayum you didn't have. No. And Chronicles of Crime. And Dwellings. That's 16. You had... I had Dwellings. You had Dwellings. Did you have Dwellings? I had Dwellings. No, I did not. Sorry. You did not have Dwellings. Sorry. I was... I was brain... talking about that. Like, you, Sorry. That was one of the points of this video. You did not have Dwellings at all. My brain was in the Howl of the Mountain thing right now. Sorry. Why would your brain be in a hole? <laughs> dwellings on the underworld something. On the underworld. Yes. So that means we had 16 crossovers. Yeah, we did. Which means in between your 15 and 17. Did we? But you had... Uh, Aqualine, Dwellings, uh, Chronicles of Crime, yeah. and Payam. You didn't have Planet X either. No, so that's 15 then. <laughs> so you had the 15, so you were correct. In guessing 15 crossovers. Okay, yeah. And somebody can correct my, us if we are wrong. Yeah, my counting is all mixed up. But yes. that's the end of another year. There will be more videos coming for the next few weeks. Uh, I don't think we're going to go on a break this year because we have many videos planned and we're just going to pump them out there because there's so many games that we want to cover before the end of the yeah. year. Uh, and we're just looking forward to next year. We hope it's going to be a better year. For, for everything, we hope there are going to be more good games. We hope we can travel some more, maybe like hopefully. Vaccines, that would be nice. Yeah, at yeah. least Spiel, I'm hoping oh, for next yeah. year. Oh, yeah. Really, cro fingers crossed there. I was genuinely Ooh. sad about that this year. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's another year. Again, thank you so much for following us. Thank you for watching the videos. It really means a lot. It means so uh, much. Thank it, you it, so it much. It makes it fun to sit here and talk into a camera and then edit it and put it online. <laughs> Because that's that's what we do most of the time. Yes. So that is the end of the top 10 of 2020. We hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.